Hi, I'm Michael Briggs, and you are watching Skills for Outdoor Survival, or SOS. And today, I'm going to build a temporary shelter. I have one tarp, and the ground is very wet, as you can see. I've chosen this area under these trees. Uh, however, there's snow all around. We have a soaked ground. And so I'm going to show you how to use one tarp to have a floor and a roof. Okay, so we're going to start by taking down all four corners just to make this easier on ourselves. Now that we've got all four corners staked down, we're going to take this corner and fold it into a square. We'll take this over. Now, so we've made a square, but we don't have an eye hole here. So we're going to make our own. So we need an eye hole here, and we don't want to put a hole in our tarp. So take a piece of something or a pebble, place it in the tarp. Next, get a length of rope that we cut earlier. Put your fingers in like so. Wrap your fingers around. And it should make a loop. So we will take our string and we'll put that half hitch into one end. Take that piece of stone or pebble and put this around and cinch it down. And then we are able to pull on our tarp. We have a connection point. Next, we will make a loop in what's left of our string. So we'll take it, double it up, we'll go over and through. And now we can stake this section of the tarp down. So we'll take our stake and put it through our homemade loop. Press that down. Now that we've got that staked into the ground, we're going to pull up this stake. And take this corner and bring it in like so. Okay? And it's going to be staked down along with this one. This eye hole doesn't line up very well, so we're going to do the same trick on this corner. Next, we need to tie a rope or string to that eyelid on top, and then connect that to a stake in the ground or to a tree above your camp. Take our tarp, pull it so both sides are tight, and pull it over our stake, and stake it into the ground. So here is what the finished product looks like. You have a three-sided tent, and the way to get inside is to remove this stake. on one or both of the doors. For In this case, we'll just remove it on the one. And there you have a tarp tent with a floor and a roof made from one tarp. As you can see, this is kind of a miniature version of what this could be since I use such a small tarp. In any case, I'll still try and fit in. So, luckily, with the tarp below, I'm not on the extremely wet snow. So it's almost large enough that I could sleep in here. However, it would be nicer to have a bigger tarp.
But for how big that tarp is, that is a surprising amount of space. And it would keep the rain off of me. And it would run onto here and down this hill. So if you have a bigger tarp that you could sleep in, a tarp of this size would be great for storing things. Such as firewood or even a backpack. To keep it off the wet ground and out of the rain. All right, thank you for watching Skills for Outdoor Survival, or SOS, and I'll see you next time.